Hey, Adventure, welcome to another Sunhaven Guide. This one is going to be all about jams, making jams, and how much they sell for. Let's get to it. To get started on your jam making journey, you're going to want to be foraging these fruit trees that you see around Sunhaven, Nelvari, and Withergate. You're also given two starting fruit trees down at the bottom of your farm here. There are two apple trees that you can harvest every day, even if you're afraid to go out and do some foraging in areas that might have some monsters, you can start by collecting some apples here on your farm. When you've got yourself settled with your farm and you're making a little bit of coin, you can come talk to Emmett at the farming store and purchase some fruit trees for yourself. So they have apple, blueberry, orange, strawberry, raspberry, and peach. Everything you would find foraging out in the wilderness areas, you can pick up from Emmett. Now, those are gonna range in price from 1,500 coins to 8,000 coins. So you're gonna have to save up a little bit to get your starting lineup. Other than forageables, what do you need? You need a jam maker. So you're gonna go to your crafting table here and it's gonna be a little bit farther down. You're gonna need 30 planks, 100 stone, and four sugar. Okay, where do I get sugar? General store. Emmett's gonna have that in the general store portion down at the bottom of the list. There's no way to make sugar yet in Sunhaven. We have to purchase it from Emmett. If you're looking at your crafting menu and you don't see a jam maker, that's because you haven't put a skill point into unlocking it yet. That's gonna be under the farming section, the third row down. Everything there has to deal with jams, honeys, and flowers. Once you've got your jam makers and your trees already mature and producing, I suggest you do a two chest setup. One for your forageables and your items that you're going to need to make each jam, and one for your products. That way you've got everything separated and you can grab and go as needed. Don't forget to spend some skill points in the exploration tab of your skills menu on your fruits and forageables to help you increase your rate of picking up fruits and increasing their value when you sell them. There are some items other than fruits that you're gonna need to make every jam on the jam making list. Let's start with things that you can pick up in the mines. They're gonna be fire crystals, water crystals, and earth crystals. And I'll make sure to put a link to our mining guide here right up in the top corner. You can check out where to find all of those in that other video. There's a few monster drops that can also be used in jams, and that would be squashed bananas from monkeys, prickle tot and prickle pop pears. Now these guys are kind of hard to defeat, so make sure you've got some skills into some ranged spells or your crossbow to be able to take these guys on. They've got nasty ranged abilities. On the farming side, tomatoes you can make jam out of, shimmer root, and grapes. Cinnaberries can also be used in jams and those you can pick up from the farming store. There are three things you need to pick up from the Novari store to be able to make all of the jams that involve that region or city. One of them is going to be dragon fruit seeds. Another one is going to be mana gem seeds. Both of these are used directly to make jams. And then indirectly wind chime seeds. You have to have at least 10 of these on your farm to aggregate these little wind sprites that drop sparkling dust. That's one of your required items to make a specific jam. In Withergate, there's only one crop you have to be concerned with, and that's going to be tomb melons. You can buy these from Christine just below the apartments in Withergate. Something to keep in mind while you're making jams is that each jam has a mana requirement, and usually that's what stops me from making all of the jams I want in a given day. So you can see that each has a different level. Some cost 20, some 100, some 25. Make sure to keep an eye on that because it'll stop you from crafting if you're out of mana. The only jam at this time that can be made with golden fruits is the golden pomegranate jam. So make sure to be picking these up if you've invested the skill points. Otherwise, you can sell any golden fruit that your trees give you. Lastly, I wanna talk about this soul orb jam. I had to talk to the developers about this one. This one is hard to produce. You're going to get the seeds for soul orbs out of the Dinus Altar quest, and you're going to need to cultivate those carefully. They're gonna give you seed bags, and you're gonna to have to continue to plant those over time to increase the amount of seeds that you have because you can't buy them anywhere. You're just gonna have what you have. So be aware of that and don't go selling any of your soul orb seeds. You wanna keep those in a chest somewhere <laughs> because you won't be able to get those back and that would be a nightmare. 
pricing of your finished jams are going to range anywhere from 250 coins up to two grand per container, depending on which one you go with. And it's all about what you're able to afford at the time. If you're going for these easier ones that you can forage, they cost you little to nothing except for mana. But if you're going for something like tomato jam or something that has a higher price, like say cinnaberries, or shimmer root seeds, that's something that you're gonna have to invest in. Remember grapes, you can infuse with mana overnight and get them the next day, which is super, super cool. And then you have your other products that you're gonna have to go to other cities for. Your mana gem, the dragon fruit, two melon, and then some monster ones, the prickle tot, prickle pop, the soul orb jam, which we touched on, and finally, the golden pomegranate jam. Don't forget to go get to foraging and pick up extra bags of sugar from the general store when you got a little extra coin. Hope this helped and enjoy your adventure.